Welcome guys to the Mythbusters series episode 6. Today we will be taking a look at some of the interesting myths about Godzilla vs Kong. It's the new event mode, and these myths might be useful to you, and some are completely useless, but fun to know. Starting with the first myth, and one of the most curious questions, can you kill Godzilla, or is it immortal? Well there is only one way to find out is by testing. So we have here about 7 players continuously shooting at Godzilla, and after few minutes of firing, the Godzilla got pissed and decided to attack back by using its laser beam. So the myth is busted, and Godzilla is immortal, doesn't matter how many bullets you fire, it just won't hit it. Moving on to the myth number 2, Godzilla's crystals gives area damage, you can be injured on the first floor, even if the crystal blows up on second floor. If you don't know exactly what are Godzilla's crystals, it's basically a crystal that contains Godzilla's power. And it's extremely powerful, it can damage or kill players through walls, for example here is an enemy, now I will go one floor above and use the Godzilla crystal exactly where the enemy was standing below. And you need to throw it as a grenade, but it's way more powerful than the grenades, so try to get away as far as possible when using this. And obviously, it killed the enemy who was one floor below me, and as well as other players who are close to it, doesn't matter if you're covered with walls, it can easily penetrate through walls, but what will happen if you throw Godzilla crystal two floors above the enemy, does it still do the damage? So we are two floors above the enemy, and now let's throw the crystal and see if it still does the damage. So it does 40% damage to the enemy, but it also releases flames which will do another 20% damage, so in total it does 60% damage if you're two floors below its explosion. So how powerful exactly is this Godzilla crystal? Well it can do damage up to 10 meters of its radius, doesn't matter if you're hiding in a room, or in a different floor, it can penetrate through walls up to 10 meters. For example, it will kill everyone who is under 3 meters with its explosion damage, and if you are at 5 meters away from its explosion it will do up to 80% damage, but you still die due to its flames, which deals extra 20% damage. And if you're under 5 to 10 meters away from its explosion you will lose up to 70% to 25% of your health, plus 20% flame damage. So these Godzilla's crystals are extremely overpowered, and I highly recommend carrying these instead of grenades. But how to find the Godzilla's crystals? If you get this notification, while playing in event mode, mark the location of Godzilla, and then after Godzilla releases its energy, or basically it's gonna shoot a beam towards the sky, the crystals will drop at that exact location, that's why you need to mark it in your map. Now moving on to the myth number 3, some weapons will do more damage in TDM than normal classic games, anyway while testing this myth, I found that classic has only 100 health, while TDM has 120 health, so TDM has 20% extra health. In classic you can one shot kill enemy with AKM, if you hit a headshot, whereas in TDM you can't, because TDM has 20% more health than classic. But the interesting thing that I have noticed is M24 will one-shot kill a level 3 helmet, which isn't possible in classic matches. TDM requires 20% more damage, but still, M24 can kill in a single headshot including a level 3 helmet. So the myth is confirmed, some weapons like M24 deal more damage in TDM, so TDM and classic weapons have different damage output, some do less damage, and some do more damage. Moving on to the next myth. If you die in TDM with new OTS view enabled, you will get the OTS view after respawning, and your running speed will increase while moving. So now I enabled my over the shoulder aim, also known as OTS, and I died, but after respawning my view is still over the shoulder view. So the myth is confirmed, and your speed will increase, and you can move faster. But wait will the accuracy be the same as before, actually no. I mean as soon as you start running you will lose accuracy, but you do get slightly better accuracy by doing this method. By the way, you can also do this in classic matches, by following this process, enable over the shoulder aim, and then open your recent apps, wait for 1 to 2 seconds. And then open the game, now you can freely move with the over the shoulder aim enable, note this is a glitch it can be patched at any moment, by the time you are watching this, it may or may not work. So try it before it's too late. Moving on to the next myth. 
You can't hit Godzilla with a glider on the face or the body, you will simply pass through his body or the face. So obviously PUBG physics are really bad, you can literally pass through the Godzilla like it was nothing, you can also pass through its legs up to some part, including Godzilla's tail as well. So the myth is confirmed, you can pass through the Godzilla with a glider. And the next myth is quite similar to this one, if you try to land on Godzilla's head, you can't because he is hollow, only his legs and tail are real. So yeah Godzilla is basically is like a hologram, so the myth is confirmed, and only his legs and tail are real, but only up to some parts. Sometimes even the tail doesn't have a hitbox example like this. I tried so many times to land on its tail, but I always pass through it like this. Anyway moving on to the next myth, the monsters in Godzilla event mode which you can kill, can't attack you when you are inside a vehicle, but you can attack them. So here are the monsters, now let's test if this spider monster can take my health. Yes it can attack you, now let's check this another monster. Okay this one literally took half of my health. So the myth is busted the monsters can kill you, even if you're sitting inside a vehicle I also tested with UAZ, the results are same. Now to the next myth, if you throw two stun grenades at a person at the same time the blinding time will be twice as long. So first we will test how long you will be blind just with one stun grenade. So with one stun grenade, the blind time is up to 5 seconds. Now let's test with two stun grenades thrown at the same time. Even with the two stun grenades, the blind time is almost the same up to 5 seconds. So the myth is busted. Moving on to the next myth, you can't get shot in the air balloon. So obviously the air balloon will protect you from all the gunshots if you hide inside, but if you expose your body or your head, then your opponents can shoot you easily. So the myth is kinda confirmed, because it gives protection. Moving on to the final myth, when you get a notification remember to dodge Godzilla or Kong's attacks, there will be a small red zone in the map where Godzilla or Kong will attack, mostly red zone will appear where enemies are at. So now we got a notification that says remember to dodge Kong's attacks, and also there is a small red zone on top of me in the map, now Kong will attack in that red zone area, whoever is inside will either get damaged or killed by Kong. So the myth is confirmed, the small red zone which appears when Godzilla or Kong attacks will most likely attack players. Anyway, that's all I got for this video I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, and see you guys in the next video.